Have you really been walking around the city in the dead of winter wearing that? I demanded, and he looked down at his clothes as if he had no clue what he wore. Uh, no, I just came in, he said, and I blinked, surprised. He'd flown to Seattle to see me? Where did you fly in from? I asked, wondering if he'd really made that effort just for me. Maybe he had some business in town to take care of. Yeah, that made more sense. Fly in? Oh, just around. Anyway, have you thought about my invite? I'd love to take you out, Kim. I want to do this right, and I want to show you that being mates doesn't mean insta-love or whatever you called it. I glanced around, worried one of my friends was listening in. If Killian heard the word mates, he'd flip. He wrote A-B-O-M-M fanfix in his spare time, and if anyone wanted faded mates to be true, it was him. I can't promise much, I warned him, waving around my shop. This place means the world to me, and it's my first priority. Maximus nodded, a small smile gracing his lips. I understand. My work means the world to me as well. My kin, uh, uh, my boss, told me to cut down my work so I can properly court you, but I don't think work would be a problem for us. Had he been about to say king? Where exactly was Maximus from? And what kind of boss told an employee to work less so he could date? I shook my head, and Maximus's smile fell. Oh, no, that wasn't for you. I'd love to go on a date. I have a busy week, but maybe next Friday? Maximus smiled brightly, and my breath caught in my chest at the utter joy on his face. This really meant a lot to him. If he really was my mate, this was my chance at happiness. I should grab it with both hands and give it my all, shouldn't I? Worst case scenario, it wouldn't work out, and I would go back to what I had now. But best case scenario, I would find a strong, loving mate in this man and more happiness than I could have ever asked for, if my uncle were to be believed. In the end, the choice wasn't that difficult at all. 